Hello guys, today I want to talk about PHP 8 syntax called constructor property promotion. For years there was a syntax of passing the parameters and then catching them in the constructor, for example like for jobs in Laravel or for sending emails. So for example, you call a job, dispatch a job from somewhere, it could be artisan command, it could be controller from whatever, and then you pass the parameters, and then those parameters are inside of the constructor of that job, and then you assign them to private properties, it could be public properties, and then you use this something inside of the handle method. Similar example could be found in the official Laravel docs for Laravel 9, mailable class, you get the order and then you pass that order from the parameter, injecting it into constructor and then use this order inside of the class where needed. But in PHP 8, there is a new syntax to make that shorter and automatically catch those without doing that in the constructor manually. All you need to do is to specify this private or public inside of the constructor method as a parameter here so private private and then we delete those and then we delete those and that's it constructor method becomes empty but php automatically knows that this private should become a private property of that class if i try it out with that artisan command and see if there are no errors i see no errors everything worked the mails have been sent so that's it basically, a shorter syntax and you don't need to assign those things manually anymore. You can read more about that syntax on a great blog by Brent. Brent is kind of a PHP version guy for me. I've been following him and his blog about everything we need to know about PHP latest versions. And at that time of releasing Laravel 8 in 2020, so that syntax has been live for, I don't know, two years almost. So it's not really even new, but you can read more about that with more examples, with explaining how it works for DTO example, data transfer objects, so I will link that article in the description below. What are any other new syntax features of PHP 8 or 8.1 that you've been using and enjoying so far? Shoot in the comments below and let's share our experience together. And see you guys in other videos.